the first section we'll cover will be individual skills. In this drill, the player starts out backwards at the top of the circle, pivots forwards at face-off dot, stops and goes backwards again to the dot. He will then pivot towards the starting point. He will then complete the drill going the other direction, finishing the Y drill. Notice the first player in line when he stops at the top of the Y. He is facing his left side. When he stops at the top of the Y on the other side, he stops facing his right. The next three players in line always stop facing the same direction at the top of the Y. You must constantly remind your players to stop both ways so they become proficient in stopping both directions. In this drill, the player goes forwards to the dot, stops. He then chops over to the circle to his left, back to the middle to his right, and stops. Sprints forwards to the top of the circle, backwards, back to the dot, chops to his right, chops to his left, and backwards in. He is always facing one end of the ice. This is an excellent drill for improving your player's quick feet. Your players will be proficient in going forwards, backwards, side to side. This is not only a good drill for defensemen, but for all players on your team. This next drill, the player makes two complete reps going one way, pivoting from forwards to backwards while passing the puck to a player in the middle of the circle. Now this is also a drill that can be done for time, also could be done without a puck at the younger age levels. Notice the player will make two complete laps again. He will stop, go back the other direction, constantly opening and closing his body. This will be able to work on change of directions, pivoting while throwing a puck in there to improve their hand-eye coordination. This next drill is a gap control simulation. Player starts the blue line, skates forwards the red line, backwards the blue, forwards the red, backwards the blue, as many times as he can. This is simulating a turnover where the defenseman has to go from forwards to backwards quickly. This next drill is a time drill for no more than 15 or 20 seconds as you want to emphasize quick feet. Player is going in a figure eight side to side while making passes to a partner. This can be done all over the ice with all players doing this. Once they get proficient in going side to side as this gentleman is, you then want to go up and back as we will change directions here in a moment. This next drill simulates many things in the defensive zone, such as going out to play a forward on the wall, going into the corner to play a forward, or chasing him behind the net. This is also a great drill for to work on penalty killing. From the other side, player starts at the top of the circle, back pedals to the post. Out to the hash marks, back pedals to the post. Out to the corner, back pedals to the post to the back wall behind the net, back walls, back pedals to the post. 
This next drill is a drill that works on net front coverage. The player in closest to the camera is following the player farthest from the camera, hence the mirror drill. He is staying in a tight area, the circle, and this is a timed exercise for 15 seconds as you want to keep up a quick pace. Notice you can do whatever you want. Drop to your knees, drop to your stomach, turn backwards, make the person chasing you work. This player starts backwards down the middle of the circle and goes forwards up the outside part of the circle, making a butterfly. Backwards down the middle, up the sides. You can see him going both ways, one touching the puck with the coach or with the next player in line. The next set of drills we're going to cover are defensive zone skills. The first is a passing series. The first repetition, the defenseman skates with the puck backwards, stops at the dot, passes to the next person in line, and sprints to the end of the line. After all defensemen go one time, the second time through they will escape one direction. On the escape they make sure they get the puck in front of them, keep their hands away from their body, and turn back up the ice. The third rep is an escape in the opposite direction of the second rep. Make sure when you are escaping to your forehand, you do not cross your hands over, as this will not allow you to make a pass or a shot or a clear off the boards or any of the above if you cross your hands over. The fourth repetition is a double escape one way. You are going to escape towards one direction and then go back the other way. This simulates being cut off by a four checker and have to change your path of escapes. The last set, or rep, is a double escape in the opposite direction. The next series is a D to D pass breakout series. Player starts at the top of the circle, back pedals off the post, gets a pass and comes up the alley way. Notice player tries to skate up the alley so he has options in making a pass. Second series is a reverse. Player goes, reverses the puck off the back wall, goes to the front of the net after he reverses the puck. Just a short little dump, player goes from the net front, gets the puck. Make sure you have your defenseman focus on selling the reverse. Make sure they get to the net. That was not an example of selling the reverse. Make sure the player gains the back of the net, has the four checkers believing that the puck is going to be reversed, as they do here, and then up the ice good examples, the last two, of selling the reverse. Reps number three and four of the breakout series are reverse to the wing. A left-handed defenseman on this side will go back, get the puck, look like they're going to gain the net, and reverse it back to the wing. Now a right-handed defenseman can't do that, so he will use the net as a pick 
stop, and hit the winger. Notice the coach is on the boards and the next player in line is dumping the puck. So a left-hander is doing a strong reverse and a right-hander is doing a stop and back. This is the same drill but on the other side. On this side, the left-hander will use the net for a stop and back, while the right-hander will use the net for a strong reverse to a winger. Notice once again, the coach is getting the pass along the, the boards, and the next defenseman in line is dumping the puck. The next set of skills we work on is neutral zone skills. This is working on D to D passing with supporting your partner. Notice the defenseman receiving the puck is staggered while after the original defenseman makes a pass he goes behind to support his partner. This is a great example here of the defenseman coming behind to support his partner in case he wants to give the puck back to him. In this series, this is a D to D pass with support, defenseman going wide and using his partner again. So this is a D to D back to the original D. This next series was made popular in the playoffs by the Mighty Ducks against New Jersey. This is called an activation. D brings the puck to the middle of the ice, the other D immediately sprints up the ice with his partner hitting him. This is used to break a trap. Notice the D brings the puck to the middle, other D sprints out wide. And the last one is a neutral ice reverse. Defenseman brings the puck to the middle with his partner coming behind him for a reverse. This is an excellent neutral zone play if you can get your defenseman to use it. Notice the defenseman in this scenario does not leave the puck on his backhand, always uses forehand. The support drill is a great drill to work on supporting your partner. The coach or player always turns back towards the blue line while his partner's job is to try to get across the blue line. Notice after the person makes a pass, he has to get back and support his partner on an angle so he can have an option to make a pass to him. Notice they have to get to the blue line and continue supporting. The first offensive zone skill drill is called three shot quick. Player stands even with the neutral zone faceoff dot in the alley. We'll get three quick passes from the coach where he has to catch, receive, and shoot as soon as possible. This can be done on both sides with no goalie in the net to maximize shots on goal. The CC shooting drill is a surrounding the puck drill. Each player gets a pass who must pass to his partner. Notice the players opening up, surrounding the puck, and getting a quick shot on goal. They do not walk in, they shoot from a stationary position. They will each get two shots on goal, the next set of D will jump in after. Passes to his partner, quick shot. Pass, pass to his partner, surrounds the puck, quick shot. The next drill starts with a player knocking the puck down off the glass passing to his partner. The coach then rings the puck after he shoots to his partner 
who then will pass to the defense partner. This will happen twice in a row for four total shots. This works on knocking the puck down off the glass or getting it off of the ring. Notice pucks on the glass, knocked down, pass to his partner, shot. Puck rung around the boards, pass to his partner, shot. The next drill, the pucks are placed to the right of the top cone. The cones are placed in a triangle shape. Notice the skater always faces towards the net. Player goes up, picks up a puck off to the right of the top cone, skates backwards through the cones, facing forwards around walks the blue line, stays as close to the blue line as possible for a long shot. Player skates without a puck is the key. You may try to do this with a player with a puck, but it slows down the pace of the drill. The zigzag shooting drill, the player always faces towards the boards. We'll start out backwards around one cone, forwards around the other, backwards around another, forwards then backwards shot. Notice the cones are tight to the boards so they have to get up and get back. The next section is game uses. In this first clip, notice the defenseman in the white, number three. He's in the middle of the ice, supporting his partner. Puck is dumped, he skates backwards, opens up, pivots. Looks over his left shoulder, looks to his right, knows where the four checkers are, gets back, has enough time to make a good outlet pass after surveying his options. In this next clip, notice the defenseman number four. He does an excellent job on the penalty kill here of having his stick used as a threat. Good stick in the passing lane has to stop and get up and do a good job penalty killing. In this next clip, defenseman pinches, does not get his man. But notice the right defenseman, number five, when he goes back to get the puck, he looks over his shoulder, he knows the one's coming to his right and to the left, he fakes, and then he's going to eat the puck against the boards. He knows his options in this scenario. This is a 5 on 3 penalty clip. Notice the defenseman pressuring in the corner, does a great job retreating, stick in the lane, and the net front defenseman being patient and holding. Good job killing penalties. In this next clip, Watch the defenseman when the puck has entered the zone. Good stick positioning. Denies the pass. Now the opposite defenseman, number two, looks over his shoulder, sees his options, gets his feet moving up the ice, and makes a good outlet pass. This is another good clip showing the defenseman with good stick positioning, opening up, having to pivot, going back, getting a puck, off the boards. Defenseman goes in, has good stick position, finishes his check. This next clip is a great anticipation by the defenseman number two on the right side. The visiting team does a great job of getting the puck out. Number two, the only negative is he does not have a stick on the ice. Goes for the big hit, gets a good shoulder into him, causes a turnover. This next clip by the team in the green shows good defensive coverage. We're going to slow it down and freeze to show exactly where positioning is on good defensive coverage. Notice the two players net front. Next is an offensive zone clip. Team in white wins a faceoff. Good shot. 
Defenseman realizes he's going to have some pressure on him. Protects the middle of the ice. Once again, stick on the ice, threatening. Guy drives wide. He opens up, pivots, stick on the ice, rides him out. The next clip is a neutral zone clip. Puck is won to the dark defenseman. He brings the puck to the middle of the ice. His partner then comes behind for a potential neutral zone reverse, like we worked on earlier. The only negative is he does not complete a pass here and the puck is iced. This next clip starts with a very good neutral zone transition play by the team in the white. Puck comes back, good support by his partner, very lazy pass to him, but he recovers well and makes a strong outlet pass up the ice for potential chance. One defenseman in dark was too wide, good shot by the white team. Defenseman picks up the puck, makes an excellent outlet pass by moving his feet. Forward moves up the ice, realizes he's outnumbered. The D hold the line, long shot. He then does a good job of forechecking the play. Notice the right defenseman who will come into your picture right there. He will then be ready to shoot the puck, very similar to we had in the three shot quick earlier. Gets the puck, quick release, forward walks out of the corner, excellent chance, great clip. This next clip shows the importance of using your partner. You have a D to D pass, good support, another D to D pass, good support, defenseman moves his feet up the ice, gets the puck in deep. Team in white's defenseman pivots the wrong way, Hence, the other team's four checkers get the puck. This next clip is an offensive zone clip. Notice the defenseman, the middle is taken away from him. He uses his offensive footwork, gains wide, takes the puck to the net. Great footwork, great chance, excellent job by the defenseman.